Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, my dry cleaning is in the back. Is this relatable or should I move it? Don't worry about it. <sighs> I too get clothes dirty. Okay, anyway, welcome back. I've not filmed in a little bit, in a hot minute. If you follow me on Instagram, you know it's because my cat's been sick. I just, you know, gotta get, gotta get my sanity back and check and um, get back to filming, you know? I get so many, so many, so many, so many, so many questions about Glossier because I feel like I talk about Glossier a lot. Uh, maybe I haven't talked about it a lot recently, but I've been a huge, huge fan of Glossier for the past three years? Feels like more, it might be more. So a lot of you guys, I think, associate the brand with me and ask me a lot of questions and know that I I'm a big fan and love it, so um, I thought I would do a little video today exclusively using Glossier products, talk to you guys about um, my faves, what I can't live without, what I always repurchase, what I use like every day, because Black Friday is coming up and they are doing their only sale that they do all year um, where they have 20% off site-wide. So I know that's a time where a lot of people, if you haven't tried it before, that's a good opportunity to try something. Holidays coming up, it's also a good time to buy some gifts. It's also a good time to stock up on faves if you already love and use, or maybe you're gonna find a new thing you maybe wanna try after this video. I am a rep with Glossier, so I do get a small commission if you shop through my link. Um, but I want to say full disclosure this video is not sponsored by them They're not paying me to post this and everything I say is 100% my opinion There are definitely products by Glossier that don't work for me and I don't talk about them And I'm, I'm honest with you guys about that So I'm strictly just going to be talking about the things that I love and use all the time So I just wanted to get that out of the way no pressure to buy anything even if you wanted to Take advantage of the sale you have no no pressure to even use my link at all, but just putting that out there, if you did want to support and you wanted to buy some things, my link is in the description and it really helps me out, especially when I'm dealing with mountains and mountains of vet bills. Okay, so let's just take a load off and do some makeup. So the sale starts midnight on Thanksgiving. So like you're eating dinner, blah, 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 midnight rolls around, go on their website and that's when it starts. And then it ends that Monday at 11.59 p.m. So you have a few days to to get what you want, what you really, really want. Okay, anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna chat with you a bit while I put my, my face on. I, the fact that I've gone through all of this stress and came out with one pimple is like absolutely beyond me, but I'm rolling with it. Um, so you guys have asked me so much about this future do, and I have not publicly talked about it yet. And now I'm going to. This is their latest launch. It's called Future Dew. It's an oil serum hybrid. It's supposed to give you that like glass skin. You know, like when you, I think they're like, their whole reasoning behind it was like, you know that like glow you get right after you do your skincare? This is supposed to like keep that going. Oh my God, sorry. I need to undo my pants because I'm absolutely positively dying in here. Oh God, that's better. Sometimes you just gotta let it all hang out. Um, this might be my favorite bottle that Glossier has launched because it has this like mother of pearl sheen to it. I'm very into mother of pearl. I've been trying to recreate that on my ceramics, not having an easy time. Um, so love this. Um, so it just comes out like this. It looks like a peachy serum. And then I just like press it into my skin. And I've been trying this out for like a couple weeks now. It hasn't broken me out. I don't know if it like, I'm sure it has like hydrating properties, but I don't know if this is like something that's gonna like improve your skin. It's more so like it's hydrating, but it also just gives you that like glowy sheen. So I like to use it like as a pre-makeup uh, product. You know what I mean? So I just like press it in. If you're oily already, but you do like that sheen, I would like press it around the perimeter of your face. I'm pretty um, dehydrated, so I like to press it all over and see it just gives that like glowy sheen. And so I like to wear it either by itself or under makeup. I'm gonna zoom in even more. Using, oh my God, I'm so hungry, I just realized. I've been taking care of my cat and not taking care of myself. <laughs> Can anyone relate? I'm gonna use their Perfecting Skin Tint. I'm in the shade, after they like redid their shades and added more, I'm in the shade 
G11. So if you are similar in coloring to me, and you're not sure what shade you are, try G11. I don't always wear this, but I love this for when I'm um, just trying to keep, when my skin's like doing pretty well, which right now it is minus this guy. Um, I really like to use this because I feel like it just evens you out and like doesn't look like you're wearing foundation. I really love how dewy this is. If you're, if you don't like a dewy finish, I would not recommend this for you. Okay, my baby, you guys know if you've been watching me, is my stretch concealer. I sometimes use this as a full on foundation. Um, I know like if you're hearing like concealer and you're like, you're putting that all over your face, that's crazy. Um, this is like a different situation it just like is sheer but it just covers up just enough it is dewy it's hydrating like you can definitely put this all over your face it is not crazy i love it this was like a godsend when i finally tried this concealer because i always had like the biggest struggle with concealers because literally like i have very um creasy eyes like i have like crow's feet and this isn't like from aging it is although it's not helping but i've like literally had them my whole life like since i was like 16 years old i just like have very like lined eyes i just it's like genetic or something i don't know but because of that concealer's always been like has a tendency to like crease and cake up under my eyes and make that look worse and that was always like a big insecurity of mine and even like the concealers that were like they're hydrating and they don't crease they like still did they still looked like really bad on me um this one was just like it changed my life because it just looks so natural under my eyes it never exacerbated the problem it just knocked out the darkness and i love that i can just take it everywhere around where i need that extra coverage because um you know the skin tint doesn't have a lot of coverage so if you have like a little bit of extra like redness poking through you can just take this all the way down so you can see like this isn't going to be like your heavy hitting concealer like i have other concealers for like blemishes like this but you can see it just knocks it out so it's like you're not like your eye isn't going right to the zit or right to like your dark circles it's just kind of like making you look a bit more polished a bit more alive so another product I'm will literally never be without is boy brow I've used this every single day and this is what I do I brush it back I use it in the shade brown that's the best shade in my opinion they do have it in black they have it in blonde and um, clear but I love brown even when I was blonde and even when I was a redhead I still did um, the brown it was my favorite so if you're not sure, like, if you're, like, maybe in between colors and you're not sure, just get brown. But this is the best brow product. Okay, so eyes, I definitely, obviously, switch up. But I thought I would show you um, some of my, like, tried and true products. One of them being their eyeliners um, from their Glossier Play line. They have, like, so many different colors. They're so beautiful. I love them. And I also love their sharpener. Um, I use this for like every, like not even just glossy, I use them for like every eyeliner and lip liner that I have. I use this pencil sharpener. It reminds me of like old school, like when you were like a kid, like what you'd have in your little trapper keeper. But these eyeliners are great. They like don't move. They are they're really beautiful colors. I just like super, super believe in them. I'm gonna do something fun here because I have two eye products that I want to show you and I'm going to use them together. So this like literally I picked this color because it exactly matches my shirt and it's called Early Girl. So I'm going to draw like kind of a thick wing with this. that eye's done it literally matches my shirt so well i love that so they have this um it's so dirty sorry but they have this um little silicone like angled brush 
I think they got it. I think they have it for their glitter, but I don't use it for that. I use it to clean up eyeliner because it's like has that silicone. It's like very rubbery. It like takes things off and because it's angled, you can like really sharpen it up. And I like love it for that. I don't know if you can see, but it's sharp. Okay, so now I'm gonna quickly do the other eye and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, both eyes are done. So now I'm gonna go in with this other new product that's become a quick fave and this is their Pro Tip Eyeliner. It's a liquid liner. I have been using the Stila one for years and that was my favorite. Like I tried the Kat Von D, I tried like this and that and I was just like none of these even come close until now. This one stays on and is so black like I can't even believe. I just love this. Trust me. If you love liquid eyeliner, this is great. Who's texting me? Not right now. So I'm going to go over this and like do it thinner than the green so that the green shows up and then there's like a thin black line. You know what I mean? Um, just for a little bit of like a double line effect. that's cute look at this are we into this dare I say we are I'm just gonna go in with this again and like clean it up okay I'm gonna do the other eye now hopefully identically hello look who's interrupting me Did you bring me food? No. Did you want food? Oh, I just don't know why you're here then. You can have some of my burrito. Um, do you have the chips? Yeah, there's some chips. Okay. Um, a chip. A chip, so. Why did they put it in the I bag? Sorry, I'm just gonna just show you like, here's some chips, but it also we threw in some limes and cucumbers too. Mm. Here's sick boy. I know he doesn't look sick, but tell that to the mountains of vomit I've been cleaning up every night. You, uh, your eyes match your shirt. I know. <laughs> See? Okay. Sorry for the rude interruption. Okay, eyes are done. I really like this look. So now I'm going to do mascara. Um, look at this little... Hi. So this is a mascara I use every single day. For the longest time, it was the Chanel one because it gives like the craziest lashes. I still love it and use it sometimes, but Lash Click has become my new staple. Well, not new anymore. It's been like over a year or a year. Whenever it launched, that's how long I've been using it. But um, the reason is because, first of all, gone are the days where I like daily want my, m my mascara to be like insane. Like, I don't know. Can anyone else relate? Like the older I get, the more like tone, I appreciate the toned down look and it's not that I'm like oh I'm too old for this like I don't believe in that it's just like an ease like it's just like I don't have the time I don't have the desire you know I just want to look like myself just like an extra version it's just like my taste change um, so I love this it really does give you really nice lashes it separates it lengthens it doesn't give you like the kind of volume that the Chanel does so if you're like all about that then like you probably wouldn't love this but the thing that like clinched it for me was how easy it is to take off like you wouldn't believe it's it's a tubing mascara so it's just warm water and it dissolves the like Chanel or any other mascara it just takes so long to get off and I'm like who has the time not me um, but also this does not smudge. I have the smudgiest eyes. I don't like waterproof. I refuse because of that same issue with like, and I want to be able to take it off easily. But the first time I tried this, 
you know, it launched, they sent it to me. I was like, all right, I'll try it. But at the time I was like fiercely loyal to the Chanel and I put it on and like that night, I don't remember why, but I like hysterically cried, like bawling, sobbing, like the kind where you're like, I don't even care the way, like how ugly I look and I don't care about my makeup. So I'm like sobbing, crying. And then I like look after I'm done, I like look in the mirror, I was in my car to like wipe away whatever like mess was going on and there was literally my mascara was still like whoosh, like not touched and i was like and i was literally like mid like and i was like oh my god this mascara is amazing i like said that out loud it just took me out of the moment and if that's not a sales pitch i don't know what it is okay eyes are done let's go on to cheeks cheeks are really easy cloud paints i'm obsessed with these i literally talk about them like like it's gold and it really is but i have love all of the colors these are like my desert island products because like you can use them on lips you can use them on eyes you can use them on cheeks and you can just be like i'm out the door i'm good to go this is like you can do like a whole face with this pretty much if you're like not let's say you're like in your car and you're not wearing any makeup and then you like run into your crush you can be like ooh, 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 and then suddenly you're pretty for the cheeks exclusively i love puff it's just this pastel pink and i find it very pretty um, so if you haven't tried these before, oh my god, I just tap, tap, tap it in, and it just sinks right into the cheeks, like no residue, nothing, just sheer wash of color. There's just, oh my god, it's, this might be like their greatest invention, if I had to pick one. Pretty. Okay, let's do a little bit of highlighter, even though we have the super do on you can see or the future do you can see like it still has like that dewiness and this will last like until i wash my face and that's why i, I love the future do um but my favorite highlighter of glossiers is the quartz i just it's like a champagne sometimes i'll do it right from the stick but right now i want like a subtle highlight so i'll just tap it on but it's really nice because it's not glittery i don't really like a glittery highlighter most of the time it just kind of looks sweaty like you can see and then i'll tap a bit like on the bridge of my nose it's like an undetectable highlighter it just looks really good i love how he's like i'm gonna be quiet yet he's like playing videos on his phone honest to god okay last piece of the puzzle so i have two lip products here so first of all, my obsession maybe started with Glossier with bomb.com. It's literally stashed everywhere that I am. Like it's at my boyfriend's house, it's in my purse, it's in my bathroom, it's on my makeup sta station, it's in my nightstand. It's literally everywhere that I am. It's in my car. It's like, I just have it everywhere, every flavor. But my favorite flavor is rose. Um, it just has been since the very start. They've launched new flavors and it will always be rose. I just find that to be the best. I love it. You can use Balm.com on anything like cuts, scrapes, burns, itches, rashes, hives. But mostly I just use it for my lips, of course. It's just the best lip balm. I don't know why. It just like keeps my lips from... Excuse me? Keeps my lips from ever being dry and chapped. But they, their most recent launch is Berry, which is my favorite in terms of like one that has a little bit of color. They have another one, Cherry, which is red and it looks really beautiful, but I can't stand the way it tastes. So I never, ever, ever use it. Um, but Berry I love and it tastes really good. So I'm going to show you Berry. It doesn't really go with this look here, so I'm just showing it. Uh... What it just gives like oops i put a little bit too much on it just gives like a really pretty flush of color and it hydrates at the same time so there's this actually doesn't look bad with this makeup but i'm going to show you a different one because it's like the lipstick i always turn to so this is my favorite of their generation g and this is the shade cake it's like a peachy nude and it's just the best in my opinion it's like the kind of color i always reach to um these are great because they're these are really sure if you like a full-on co uh, coverage lipstick this is not what you're gonna get with this 
these are like sheer they give that like smudged look like you kind of like rubbed it in with your fingers like that's what the generation g looks like um a lot of their colors are really beautiful but cake is the one that i like constantly use especially when i like don't know what kind of lip to do this one's like so easy so this is the one i reach for a lot okay so that's the whole look um what do you guys think so now i'm gonna go over some things that aren't makeup products that i use a lot um just for information um so one of the things i'm definitely picking up during the black friday sale is the perfume the glossier u i've gone through i think this is my third bottle so i'll be going on to my fourth but like this is my most used fragrance this is just like uh, this is my signature scent i just think it smells really good to me it smells like leathery and like a little bit powdery but not much it's like a light it's very light um, since I moved, to, I used to like love really dark, spicy, strong fragrances. And then when I moved to LA, I just never liked them again. Like I have a few of them and I just never wear them. It always just feels too heavy. This is like the perfect combo. It's like very light, but it's still that like kind of sexy, like sensual kind of scent. Um, I just love it. And I feel like it's light enough that I can like absolutely drown myself in it. And I do. Hence why I need another one all the time. I think like if you're not sure, um, you can usually select it to get a sample with your Glossier order. So you can like try it before you make the splurge. Another thing I'm going to pick up because I'm almost out, it's like down to here, is my Milky Jelly. This is what I use to take off all of my makeup always. My routine is I just massage this in everywhere. The makeup melts off. I massage it on dry skin and then I take a wet washcloth and I wipe it all away and then I'm and then I usually follow up with my regular cleanser whatever I'm using at the time and it just never strips my skin it's very gentle I can I love that I can open my eyes and like really see like if I'm wearing a lot of eye makeup I can really like get in there and it doesn't leave like a cloudy vision like a oil cleanser does I really can't stand that about, about oil cleansers because then I have to like splash water into my eyeball to like get the cloudiness out I hate that so that doesn't do that at all um so I love it another thing this is what I've been using a lot since they launched this um is their milky oil this is for waterproof makeup so this will help get off like any heavy eye makeup that you're wearing um if i choose to do the chanel mascara i'll use this um so it's like oil and something else but you just like shake it up oh it's my cellar water i think and you just shake it up it's really gentle i just put a little bit on a cotton pad and just hold it and then wipe it away it's good for like liquid lipsticks too and then last but not least i'm sure i'm forgetting some things but um these are like the first things that come to mind when i think of like what i love by glossier and that's the shower oil i oh my god i can't even count how many i've used of these like this could possibly be like my 20th bottle like i've gone through so many i love it the scent is so good i always say it reminds me of like if you're familiar with the tom ford fragrances it smells like the neroli portofino like it's just very like beachy i don't know it smells so good it just like transports me into like fiji or something someplace better also the packaging to die i mean all of their packaging is just like it's the way my brain looks inside my head but yeah i love it i use that as like a shower oil i use it as like a body wash i mean and i use it like to shave it's great i love it it's also really safe for your hoo-ha i'm sorry for saying hoo-ha your vagina they did like a dermatological test dermatologist i meant gynecological gynecologists deemed it safe to use and so that's what i always use because i'm very sensitive and been using it for years with no problems thumbs up from me and my vagina sorry yeah so that's it so i hope this was informative or helpful um or just fun to watch thanks so much for watching everything i mentioned will be in the description and happy shopping let me know what you get